Can you hear us? We're back now. Y yes. Are we looking at the right? Can, can you hear yeah, me? We, yeah. Now we, can, we can hear you. We can hear you, and we've got a picture as well. Oh, perfect. I feel like I'm in contact with I'm in contact with the NSA. You know? Yes. They can see me. They can hear me. They know everything about. They can see me. They can hear everything about. Yeah. Me. Yeah. You want to know? Could just describe what you're doing now. We can see you're doing okay. something with a, a probe. But All right. So. Uh, so, uh, what I was saying is, so the four operations previously, I did a preliminary plasty. I like to add in those ears, so that that which has a good um, skin lining, but that's all it it get it has because this is the canal wall. See, this is the inferior part of the of the. This is the canal wall. So this is the inferior of the mucus, right? And there is a big hole. There is a big hole. It, it was really a situation between, in between situation in between sitting. Be it's not a closed technique. It's not an open technique. It's not an open technique. Laws. He has regular, or he had regular, uh, regular, or he. Had, uh, now just doing the mietoplasty already in the mietoplasty already improved the situation a lot, as it usually does. So. This is a, a very strong message, as it usually. Th this is, uh, colleagues, don't accept too narrow. A don't accept too narrow an external meatus. Last, if it's too narrow, open it up a little bit, and this will has this will have huge narrow opening, and this will huge benefit. So what I'm planning to do here is to reconstruct the canal wall and fill up the antro at the I'm planning to do here reconstruct the canal pro a bone pate. All right. So what I did is I made a a classic. All right. So what I made a sick insert like a kind of question mark. So we have the point of the question mark. We have here unavailable. What I'm going to do now is to what I'm going to do with the chin cortical bone to take a piece of cortical bone to take bone or one piece the first uh, bone pate bone pate uh, the cutting drill the cutting burr cutting drill the all right to do but a bit of but, but uh, well we'll watch you take the cortical we'll, 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 we'll watch you take the cortical bone but we'll we'll watch you take but we'll yes we'll exactly. go wide so pate because that's not so interesting that's not so right Okay, so uh, um, so this is a white, flat uh, chisel, which is slightly beveled, so you can use either this or that way. And I try to have an idea of how much bone I need uh, from the uh, CT scan, for example. We, in these cases, we we in this case uh, have a CT scan. Uh, available. Uh, can uh, the steatoma involved here? Uh, we here, we didn't. So okay, here we go. This is the hammer. Big one. Here we go. This and As you can see, to give it some, as you can see, picture. And if it is, and if this, and that's the case in in quite a number of adults. That's the case by the number of adults, kind of multi. A nice, a nice shape, right? A nice, right? Like for the canal wall. 
something like that. Okay, take another piece for the camera. That. Okay, playing to you. Okay, I take for good measure a second piece. Okay, I take for good measure a piece and then some little, some small piece, little, some small. So be done by brute force, just like you force, just like you wood or marble with delicate little taps and direct this all where you want to go. I'm just going a little bit off screen. Green. Better? Much better. It's a movable feast, he's chiseling, no? Yeah. It's a move. Yeah. Hello, this is Rinse. Hey, Rinse. Uh, Hi. How are you doing, mate? Very well, happy thank and you. Healthy? Uh, very well, We're thank you. After our fantastic meeting in uh, in Belgium last uh, March. <laughs> okay, meeting in uh, Belgium. <laughs> okay, well, here in we're wondering what kind of gloves you use. They are because they look very thin. E extreme kind of gloves because they look very extremely thin glove. gloves. Glove. Yes, Airwind gloves. gloves. Yes, something like that. What is the reason for that? Because we did it, yes, yes. Some what is because my teacher did it for 30 years, and I like it because it gives a good handling of of the stuff. 30 years, I like it. Of stuff, this is going to fit well. Yeah, it looks nice. And you know, we did we did the prospective study, uh, and this was. Uh, not not because of the that will do I think it's going to fit well looks nice and you know not not because of the gloves or non gloves so we checked on all our otological patients and you know what we have Tell extremely me. few infections mm -hmm. so no I was so uh, we checked on all our ot we mm -hmm. go ahead yeah. No, I was um, uh, asking you this question. You you can un understand because a lot of people all around the world look at your uh, hands uh, taking away these of bone course. chips, and that's why I asked you, and that's why you. Yeah. No, asking you this question. You people all around the world taking away these of bone chips. I think in many places in the world, it's it's much safer to wear gloves. For sure. You have also for yourself. Yes. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But gloves uh, have the tendency to give you any places in the world. It's much safer, for sure. Oh. But gloves, as well, most of the um, the trouble you have as a surgeon are puncture wounds, and puncture wounds will go right through the gloves. That's true. That's anyway, true. Anyway, the um, trouble surgeon will go right anyway I, i'm used to it i know see, i know the the important thing is to scallop in such a way that you get these nice very nice uh, chips bits. yeah okay no thing in such a way that very okay now pate, and only then i will start uh, drilling out the mastoid in the proper way because and only start in the proper way because for sure, we'll have a look into the middle ear because on the CT scan you see there is some displaced ossicles or middle ear because this scan you see there uh, coalesced um, with the promontory, coalesced with the promontory. Everything is fixed there. We'll see. By the way, there we'll see. Way I checked Stapy's foot plate when I did the myotoplasty. I just had a, a, a plate. I did the meat of just a quick look, so I could tell the patient that at that time his foot plate was mobile, so 
So I could tell the patient time, so to but also the functional reason. So this functional reason. So this was reasons to patient. I told it was not compulsory. compulsory. As I said, there's no cholesteatoma involved. But uh, he's, but uh, you know, and with that kind of 60, 60, 65 dB on one side, it, it, it became very, very for him, and he couldn't, uh, couldn't wear the hearing aid properly because then the ear started discharging. So it's a combination of those facts that led him to, that led him um, to go for the surgery. This is, a, this is the, uh, the contraption that we use to um, harvest the bone pate. Okay. It's like the Moffat, same sort of thing as the Moffat collector. It has a filter inside yeah, with a... Something like yeah. that. It, it looks like a World War I yes. military thing. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. I don't know what, but... Okay. Right, um, we, we're going to go back to Thomas just to tell okay, you what's going to happen and then we'll swing past Chris Aldrin um, and then either come back to you or up and then either come back to, um, at about okay. 20 at about okay. 12 past I hope mm -hmm. so when we, we, we minutes okay, yeah not to put ticking. pressure okay, on hello no well I, I did quite a lot well I did quite a lot of and uh, I no. have a, a good idea what's uh, no, have a, a good idea. It was indeed quite special. Quite special. So I'm just cleaning around window niche there. I already uh, took the measure uh, of the posterior wall, as you can see. I'll take it out again for you. Take it out again for you. Because some, uh, okay, the Tobi. The Tobi. The uh, all, all other microphones off, please, apart from Antwerp. Microphones off, please, Antwerp. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, we can. There was just some okay. crosstalk. All right. You, you, the posterior wall, huh? Yes, I just so you take it out. Okay. Okay. And who do you modify? Okay. And who do you modify? So had you modified it I at all? Or it. just take so Had you modified it at all? How you cut it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I, uh, I, yes, I, a little sculpted it in a way that would probably suit my purposes a little bit, but you, you always have to to do little things. For example, um, if you remember the cavity, I opened it up, cleaned it out, took out most of the cell tracts. Um, then here you see the facial nerve. There you see the there you see the foot plate. Foot plate, it's mobile. Can you see that? I'll magnify a little bit for you. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Right. So, to lateral canal, facial canal, processus cochleari formis, I opened up the epitympanic anterior cell, which was closed off. Here you see the facial running like that towards the ganglion. I opened up these cells, all right. Do you have a monitor on? And Pardon? Do you have a, moni have a monitor? Photo? Yes, of course. Yeah. But uh, I'm stroking it. Stroking it. Fix it. Well, I think that, that uh, surgically yeah. you're the cross between a baller. Surgically yeah. you're the cross between a and a gorilla. That's uh, <laughs> very, very gentle. Very gentle. But you have to have your orthopedic side to the gorilla side as well. Side as well. Well, I suppress it. Now, this thing, this thing, that thing was. But that thing, but that was connected to and have to change to and have to direct to another thing, which is sitting other thing, is sitting here on the promontory here. See that? On here. And this was connected like that. This was fixed to that. This was connected like that. This was fixed monetary. But I could see that the, the footplate was mobile. I could see that it was mobile. So perfectly in contact with this one. So 
I with these ones, I exceeded in loosening this. Now what I do, the drum is loosening this. What I do, the drum, I'll, uh, I'll have to take that away because otherwise this, uh, take that away because otherwise is in contact with and just make a columella. Of course, the drum will be hampered by this, this piece of columella, will be hampered. So I'll use uh, a diamond, I'll use a burr now, down to the hypotympanum. Once that is done, I can put in a columella or something like that. And then something like that. The posterior wall and fill the whole thing with bone pate. That's the plan. So you think that other ossicles, the remains, the incus, maybe? It must yes. be. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, probably, I, I guess. But I, you know, this seems colored, so yeah, it's a big, it's a big piece, huh? Uh, this one I leave, of course, to keep the the drum from uh, lateralizing. Uh, this will cover from the inside the uh, the wall, and since I have a, a nice soft tissue here, uh, this will have a vital soft tissue. This will help to. Um, to stabilize and to vitalize the uh, uh, implanted uh, canal wall, uh, implanted uh, canal wall. So that that will be neat. The gentleman will be happy. The gentleman. Let's now first do the drilling. I do this with a diamond drill and slow speed because we're never too happy to drill the promontory, are we? it
So just just to talk over Irwin for a minute to let the other centres know what we're doing, we're so just in for the centres know what we're going to yeah. Irwin. Then we'll come to see the the testing at Hanover of the. Then we'll come to testing at and Alex Huber in Zurich. Alex Huber. Put in a columella. It's a strange thing I'm doing here. Put in a columella. It's a strange thing I'm. It's a strange. It's going to have a poor train, Anna. Pardon? Other microphones off, please. Apart from. Train, Anna. Pardon? Um, Erwin. So, in fact, I'm sculpting back the original surface of the promontory. Original surface of the promontory. Um, take, um, take I need to make space for the columella. Space for the columella. That's it. Okay, Owen. So, do you want to just? That's it. Okay, Owen. So, do you want to just show them if you could just? Put it back in position to give us an idea before we go. Put it back an idea. Bony wall. Yes. Look, now this you can is see it's clear. See? It's free. Look, this you can is see everything, it's everything to connect the columella back again. Columella again. Pressure? <laughs> no, no, but it's, yeah. This is. The benefit of being, <laughs> no, yeah, being a member of Lion. <laughs> so and you see, keeping this this structure. So and keeping this is probably sculpted. Uh, is probably sculpted a new uh, ossicle and this time use a slightly longer one and call in a slight and uh, no length you see process lenticularis here uh, so I'll use a malleus and use the process lenticularis here. Uh, malleus um, and the neck there with the membrane and over correct it slightly the advantage of in and the advantage uh, are extruded. That's why well, I'm, uh, I'm grateful for you pointing that out because Rinzer and I, with our great uh, our great knowledge of osteology, had thought originally that was a malleus. Because <laughs> are extruded. That's why. Well, for you pointing that out, knowledge of osteology. <laughs> we thought that was a malleus. We were looking from a different angle oh. earlier on, but uh, oh. it's now obvious. Yeah. yeah. No, you see, it's no, no. This, this is, this is. No, it's obviously, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but it's, it's not long enough. So I'll take a. Mark, <laughs> we thought that walking from a different angle. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. It's no, it's obviously. Long enough. So I'll. Yep, Malay. Yes, right, and then when right, and then when that is in place, the I showed you before. Yeah. Okay, I will show you. To put behind it. Yeah. A nice, a nice bowl, of. Of juicy, beautiful bone pate. Look. Yes. Bone pate. Look. That's nice. Yeah, and that's mixed with rifampicin or something. Yeah. Yeah. Rifampicin. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It's, good. It's like a solid paste, and yeah, it that is will good. fill up the whole thing up to the brim. Yeah. So I think. So I think it's for the. Okay. Test. Thanks. Well, thanks very much, and uh, we're leaving now, and we'll see you during the questioning later, and we're going to go across. Later, cross to uh, okay. Hanover.